This week on Idaho Backroads, we take you to the Caribbean. Yeah, if the Caribbean was freezing cold. No. <laughs> Just kidding. We're still in Idaho at an oasis in the Magic Valley. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter, Steve Dent, here at Blue Heart Springs, and we'll take you on a journey to show you how to get to this gem and also how to be safe <laughs> while doing it. The adventure starts south of Hagerman at Blue Heart Kayaking as kayakers stand up paddleboarders and rafters head down the Snake River enjoying wildlife and nature as it takes less than an hour to arrive at Blue Heart Springs. Yeah, the pelicans, they're really funny. I actually did see a deer on the way down. That was cool. It came up to drink from the river. At Blue Heart Springs, people find crystal clear water that has been underground for around 100 years. And when it bubbles to the surface, no matter the time of year, it comes out a crisp. 58 degrees. Takes your breath away, kind of cold. The only way to get to Blue Heart Springs is by boat. <laughs> but this oasis still gets a lot of visitation. We were there on Wednesday and saw the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office patrolling the area. This is a pretty quiet day compared to a Friday afternoon or a weekend where we see anywhere between 75 and 100 vessels in here between motorized and non-motorized watercraft. The big things that we see in here are people putting out on the water without even having a life jacket with them. Idaho state law requires every person on a vessel to have a life jacket and children 14 and under need to be wearing them on the water. Operators need to have a whistle and non-motorized vessels over 10 feet are required to have a non-invasive species sticker. Meanwhile, motorized boats are prohibited from running their motor inside the spring and the sheriff's office warns people about alcohol use. While it's not illegal to have alcohol on your boat, it is illegal to become intoxicated if you're operating. Uh, whether you're on a kayak or a paddleboard or you're on a motorized vessel, if you're intoxicated, if you're over that .08 level, you could be potentially charged with an OUI. The fine for that is $500 if you're a state resident. It's $1,000 if you're an out-of-state resident. That's a lot to take in. However, if you want to simplify this adventure, Blue Heart Kayaking will rent you all the equipment you need, and you can continue down to Ritter Island with their shuttle service. Or if you have everything yourself, it's just $5 to launch. It was easy. Nice and easy. Decent price. Blue Heart Springs, just another reason why we call it the Magic Valley. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.